Hi everybody, my name is Laura and for my video today I'm going to show you how to cut straight across bangs. Mine are going to be really nice and short, it's going to be totally cute. Um, so you can use this technique whether you already have bangs and you just need to trim them or if you're going to have them for the first time. So when you're trimming a straight across bang, you need to have a proper section. So what I like to do is section my bangs out into a really nice clean triangle. So you'll have the base of your triangle here. The top point of your triangle will be however thick you want your hair to be. So as you can see, mine is really far back, but you can have yours closer up here. It depends on the look you're going for and how thick your hair is really. And then the two sides of your triangle are going to go from that top corner up here out to the top of your eyebrow, like the little peak that you have here. So right in to here and right into here. So my bangs are not totally following that. I'm actually gonna do mine really wide because I want my bangs to come really far wide out here. So I've done my section out to the outer edge of my eyebrows right here. So but what that's gonna do is widen out my face. I have a long skinny face, so I wanna do that. If you feel you have a wider face and you don't wanna show it off, then do where I first told you to your arch right here. Oh, I'm dripping water down my face. So what you're gonna do is pull all your hair forwards and we're gonna do this in little sections. So what I'm gonna do is section out. So, oh yeah, so there is my triangle right there for you. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little section of my hair straight across here and I'm just going to clip it up. Don't make this too wide. I'm probably gonna to have to cut this in three. Okay, that, and I'm just going to clip this up. And then what I'm gonna to do to cut this, I'm not gonna put it in between my fingers and cut it like this because when you do that, the hairs that are underneath are being elevated upwards and the hairs on top are being elevated upwards. But then when they fall like this, the hairs on top will become shorter, ever so slightly, but it will make a difference when you wanna style this. What I'm gonna do instead is comb my bangs straight down like this and I'm gonna go and find the height that I want them to be. So I'm gonna cut mine just around like here-ish or something. And what you do, pull the hair straight down in your comb, give it like a miniature little tap on top with your scissors, and then cut straight across underneath it. Next section. And just try to get this, you know, like as straight as you can. And then the last section there. Miss this piece. There we go. And then I'm gonna do my next section. And this one, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try to cut as close as I can to the first section, my guideline, without actually cutting it. Cause I don't really want it to be any shorter than it already is. I've already got my guide. So put that like that. Here we go. Brush this down straight, same thing, okay? Brushing this down straight, give it a little tap, and then cut my line. There we go. And this is about three weeks growth for me. I usually would like to cut them every two weeks to keep them um, as short as I want them, but I wanted to do this video and um, so I let them grow a little bit extra long. I'm going for this whole like Cleopatra look right now with the straight across bangs, straight across hair, loving it. So, and then my last section. And again, just brush it straight down. And cut as close to your guideline as you can without actually cutting it. There, now, perfect. And then blow dry it. You can use a brush if you want.
All right, and there we go. So, and now from here, if you want to, if you need to do any edits just to clean it up, you can do it now. So, um, as you can see, I missed a little piece here. So I'm just gonna get that. And you can just, I've got a little cowlick over here underneath, so it's hard to get my, like, really straight this side. It always seems to puff up a little bit more. But if you want, if, like, it's too straight for you, take your scissors and lightly cut up into them like this, and it's gonna diffuse it a bit. That's especially nice if your hair is really thick. You can do that. Mine is not. Or if you like it really straight, keep going in like this. So I'm just gonna go edit mine a little bit. Fix my eyebrow there. Blow dried them all over. Now, one thing when you're fixing these, see my scissors like this? You wanna tilt them down just a little, just a little bit like that, and it's gonna help you to trim the underneath hairs and leave the top hairs just a little bit longer. Just so that, again, like you just get this nice little flip under. But you know what, I don't wanna mess with mine too much because I think that they look like pretty good. So get back here a little bit and fluff up my hair. And there we go. I think that that is looking pretty good. Um, sticking up a little bit, I'll just stick that down. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, yeah, so many straight across bangs here, Woo! But you can see how wide they are. So then if you don't wanna have something this wide, you really need to only section it into the eyebrow points right here and not doing it so wide. But anyway, that's my straight across bang. And um, yeah, let me know how it goes, test it out. Let me know what you think of my technique. Uh, it was nice to see you guys and I'll see you all for another video soon. Bye.